What's up, YouTube? This is David from Hit Escape, bringing you the much-anticipated beginning of our Tom Clancy's The Division series. Now, as you can see here, I'm just going to choose my language, which I'm pretty sure I want to be English. Dialogue language, let's go with English, English, and let's show subtitles, just in case I'm talking over some important parts so you guys can still read along. Let's go ahead and click Accept. All right, I think my brightness is fine there. No, I'm not going to launch that now. We're just going to jump right into it. I think myself, along with you guys, have been waiting long enough for this game. Right, so I'm just going to let it I'm just going to let this play out. Breaking news leading with unconfirmed reports of a, a smallpox small outbreak. outbreak is a highly rehearsed scenario. And National Guard units converging on no a hospital trains. in Central Bridges are closed. It's a war zone. is a very real more danger. More than a There's not enough vaccines. No, let me stop you there. This is not a panic situation. An entire American city. No known as a green poison, Central Park has been converted to a mass burial ground. Power outages, gas line leaks, fires. The government's We're expecting another night of widespread looting. The people of New York are begging for it. available units. Fire and health in the The first responders are either dead. No resources available. They treat them like animals. It's not a job. We're not trained for this. When we were activated, we knew the situation was bad. Worse than anyone knew. We are an elite, highly skilled group of embedded agents. They only call us when everything else has failed. We have no rules. We have no limits. Our job is to protect what remains. We are your co-workers. We are your neighbors. We might even be your friends. And when we get the call, we leave everything behind. We are the division. That was pretty intense. Alright, so right away from the beginning we can see that we don't get to pick what our character looks like after that, uh, what was it, during that, before the helicopter scene. You will see how that scene plays into the game in a little bit, but first let's pick what we, what we want our character to look like. I already played through the first 45-60 minutes on my main account, so I already know what I want my person to look like. I'm just going to go ahead and do that real quick. All right, I'm not I'm not really a fan of war paint or tattoos just in general I, I, I don't really like tattoos no offense to those who do I mean I, I may get a tattoo one day just something small though nothing really big I mean I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like though so you have different you just have four different patterns because number one is the default for every option which is nothing so you have your scar patterns you have your a lot of different war paint options actually as you can see it goes all the way up to 14 so you have 13 different options and you can pick what colors you want so you have your primary color secondary color ter tertiary 
tertiary, right? That's how you pronounce that word. But like I said, I'm not going to go with any war paint. But I'm going to show off the tattoos to you real quick. Um, some of them are cool. I, just because I don't want a tattoo doesn't mean I don't think they can look cool on someone. <laughs> but I'm going to show you right here. Was it 13? 14? No. Let's keep going. Where is it? They got my... Oh, they got the flag. They got my boy Shenron over here. <laughs> Shout out to any Dragon Ball Z fans out there, which I'm sure there are a lot of. But you can pick the saturation of the tattoo. See, do you want it to be really, you know, imprinted on there? Do you want it to be white? But like I said, I do not want any tattoos. So let's go back to one. All right, perfect. Accessories. I think, yeah, I wanted some shades on my guy. You can pick different piercings, and then once you get to the later options, I think you have, yeah, so you have nine different options. I'm not going to wear those. I don't want to look like, look like Ozzy Osbourne, so I'm going to go with these. Alright, and I'm going to go ahead and activate my agent. Yeah, so I'm going to actually bring the controller up to me because that's the only way I think you'll be able to hear what Isaac is saying. So let's go ahead and take cover where it's asking us to. So before I take cover, I just want to point something really obvious out. We start the game off in Brooklyn, um, if you can't tell. Oh, I mean, a lot of people probably won't be able to tell, and they're going to tell you in like another minute or two anyway, so I don't think that's really a big spoiler. But obviously, we don't begin this game from that helicopter scene um, like we did in the beta with Faye. We will see her very soon, though. So let's just go ahead and do this quick tutorial. So obviously, you take cover with X. Weapon test initialized. I'm on fire at the highlighted targets. All right. So I basically just want you to test out your gun now. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Alright, so you switch to your pistol by double tapping triangle. Alright, let's just shoot this thing over here. Alright. Welcome aboard, Agent. This is Louis Chang, Northeast Section Commander of the Division. You have been activated because Brooklyn has become dangerously unstable. Isaac has updated us with your progress. Proceed to the nearest safe house for your full equipment loadout. Alright, so right now what we're going to do is we're going to make our way to the safe house. So, let's just go ahead and open... Um, when you check the, the map, you can have the, these little indicators. So, like, you see that? It looks like a... I don't know what... That looks like on the indicator. It looks like a lowercase i to me, but if you see that, you'll be able to restock your your ammo. But right now, let's make our way to this base. Well, safe house. One thing that you're gonna see, and Again, we're going to get into that basically in the next few minutes, is that... Agent, I've confirmed that your fellow Hello. agent, Fei Lau, has arrived here. Check in with her when you get inside. Alright, so... We're going to go meet up with Fei. <laughs> See, like I said, very quickly. So this is the first safe house in the game. Let's just go take a look around, see what we find. So we can team up with other agents here. 
it's the same thing as Hudson Yard. You can, I guess, try to communicate with someone, try to get them to tag along with a mission, or try to make some new friends, I guess. Just like that little uh, thing says under Brooklyn, team up with other agents. That's basically what we're here for, or what this is here for. All right, so let's make contact with Fei Lao. We're losing this whole neighborhood. The rioters are moving through, in force, and headed this way. Put your people there. I see someone else got the call. I'm Agent Fei Lao, Division. Activated the same time as you, part of the second wave of us going in. I don't know what happened to the first wave, but unfortunately, there's still lots left for us to do. We don't have much intel, and we don't have the luxury of failure. Not with Manhattan under lockdown and Brooklyn on the brink. People like me, and you. We're what's left to hold the line. With any luck, we'll have more to go on once we rendezvous with the commander. More about the situation, about who's turning the streets into a war zone. Anything that's gonna help us do what we're supposed to do. And if you'll excuse me, Lieutenant. Officer Hazen and his team are handling situation reports. If you're looking for a hot spot, that's who you want to talk to. Activation at the terminal to enable Directive 51 operational status and equipment. All right, let's let's get right to it then. Where do I go? All right, so go back to the door. You basically just—I don't know what this is for. Maybe it's some anti-piracy thing. It says verify identity. I I don't really know what the purpose of this is, but that's what I'm thinking. Identity confirmed. Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and request the situation report. Thank God you're here, Agent. I've never seen Brooklyn like this. We're barely hanging on. I'll be your point of contact for any emergency ops. We've had plenty of action and it's not letting up. Jesus, I'm not gonna have any hair left when this thing is done. I guess he's not gonna have any hair left when it's all said and done. Um, but again, every every time you get to a safe house or a base, you're gonna have these. So go ahead and restock as much as you as much as you want, basically. All right, so. Morning. Now we're exiting the safe area. Isaac can intercept transmissions from locations on the map, so you can get a little more intel on what you're getting into. Okay. So as you can see, basically when we start off the game, all of Brooklyn basically serves as a tutorial. Agent, Riders took the weekly food supply from the Brooklyn Heights Distribution Center. They try and sell it back to all the starving people. Plain and simple profiteering on the backs of people who are suffering. Get that food back. Alright, so like I said, this whole thing is a tutorial right now. Um, once you finish it, it'll say something like tutorial end. But right after this, we're going to go into Manhattan and you're going to see how things play out. You're going to see basically what happened and the events leading up to that explosion. I, I think it's a helicopter crash before. That's technically incorrect, but you'll see what happens. So right now, I'm just going to show you guys a little bit around Brooklyn. This is basically um, Brooklyn near the Brooklyn Bridge. And let's just get right into it. Okay. All right. So we saved this JTF guy. All right. Search for clues. So here's a dead JTF guy that I guess we were too late to. Okay. So let's follow this beacon. I want to point something out to you guys that I'm going to fix <clears throat> in the next video. I'm recording this at the same time as I'm playing, obviously, but I was having some trouble doing both at the same time on the on the game capture software that I have. So what I'm going to fix now, and what I guess I didn't want to point it out, is that I'm going to disable Isaac. I'm going to... Can I do that, actually? 
I don't think I can. Because his audio is coming through the controller. So let me see if I can go to options and fix that. Okay, so you might you guys might hear an echo. So you might hear Isaac from the mic as well as the Okay, never mind. So yeah, so we're gonna disable Isaac from the computer from the controller right now. So just so you guys don't hear that echo anymore. I'll see what he's saying on the screen. You'll still be able to hear it because the game will capture that. His audio is just not going to come out through the the speakers anymore. There might be like a half second delay between my audio and the game's audio. But like I said, I really wanted to fix that right now before we got any further into the series. We're about 16 minutes in now. I usually want to make these videos about 30-35 minutes. But for my little blunder there, let's let's make it closer to 35 minutes. And I apologize. The first few times that you hear Isaac, you're gonna you're gonna hear him coming from the mic as well as game audio. So let's just get right into it. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead. I should have done this. I think the game told me to. I just didn't see it earlier. One of the first things you want to do. Is go to go to options, go to your abilities, set your ability. So you have available skills. Skills expand your toolkit with new tactical tactical options. So basically, as I mentioned throughout my beta videos, as you upgrade each wing, the tech wing, the medical wing, and the security wing, you'll be able to unlock more abilities. So for now, let's see what abil what abilities we can access. Those abilities are the the pulse. The sticky bomb and the ballistic shield. So basically, you just have access to the first basic ability from each wing, each respective wing. So, my two favorites are the sticky bomb and medical. Once you get to level 5, you unlock, a, you can equip a second skill or ability, I should say. But I like pulse just to be able to see where enemies are. So, I'm going to go ahead and assign that to R1. Alright. Um, you go over to your inventory, you're able to see what weapons you have. You can equip another uh, primary weapon at level 4. And these are your, basically your armor. Like in Destiny, you have your chest piece. I, you have your, <laughs> I guess your leg piece. Your gauntlets, your arm pieces. And I guess the mask is supposed to be like your headpiece, but I'm actually kind of confused. Um... I don't know, I'm just looking through everything here. I'll get a better hang of the game as time passes on. <laughs> so we'll get to do that together. You guys will watch me through my blunders and hopefully watch me learn and get better at this game. But you have you have attributes, different attributes, which I'm pretty sure that I different armors give you different abilities, so I don't I'm pretty sure you don't get to pick out your ability, because see they're not they're not something you can choose. Your armors and your guns and your, I guess your abilities will grant you different attributes, I should say, not abilities. Because these are the abilities here. Wait, wrong one. <laughs> these are your abilities over here. And then when you go to your inventory, you have, you're able to see what attributes you have. Attributes, attributes, attributes. <laughs> and these are just your pouches. Basically, it tells you what you have access to, how much ammo you have your consumables, your grenades, whether it's a flashbang, and in, in, in incendiary, etc. See, incendiary, shock grenades, tear gas, frags, flashbangs, EMPs, and then just your basic ammo. Access keys, I think you find them throughout the game, and they give you access to like locked off areas that will give you, I guess, rewards. They'll probably give you access to like crates and stuff. I think I got like one or two access keys during the one of the betas. And it just gives you access to different crates, different rewards. Maybe, well, different things. We'll, like I said, we'll, we'll see that together. So right now I'm going to go ahead and get out of this menu. And finish up the little side mission they sent me on. So let's just go ahead and send off a pulse. Area 
territory secured. Hostiles right. neutralized. Let's go ahead and mark these supplies for pickup. Morning. Hostile forces approaching. Oh boy. It might be just one, but <laughs> you guys are gonna be in for a world of pain. I still don't understand why they decide to climb on cars, and I pointed this out <laughs> before in the beta videos. It's just, I don't know. They're not smart AI. Maybe they just want a better vantage point? I don't know, but they make themselves an easier target for me. Great work, Agent. We'll get that food back to the people who need it. Alright, so let's go. Where are we going now? Alright, so let's access the menu. So, before we can get to Manhattan, we have to do the side missions that are available to us. So, f right now, we're going to a morphine supply. Alright, let's, let's go Both take care of this morphine have supply. Stolen a crate of morphine. Probably gonna try and sell it or use it. We've got people in real pain who need those drugs. See if you can recover that crate. Well, I'm certainly gonna try. Alright. Uh, slim pickings. Oh well, we got some enemies over here. Alright. They've been taken care of. You can see the screen keeps telling me to use a med kit because I took some damage, but. I'm not going to waste that med kit yet. I'm at a good health right now. I know the game's just telling me as a tutorial, but I'm going to go ahead and wait. Because I will inevitably take a little bit more damage. Alright, let's find this stolen morphine. Alright, these guys are not trouble. Hey, someone's a little jumpy. Missing supply crate located. Alright, we found the crate. Right over here. That's another pulse. Alright, take that. Alright. Area secured. Easy Our enough, right? Neutralized. Well, let's go ahead and use that medkit now. Let's take these little goodies. Let's mark this for the JTF. Confirmed. Pick up mark. GTF notified. Sparrow 5 here. Oh, We're boy. approaching right, here your we position go. So, now. Side missions in the beta. This is just basically showing you the different kinds of missions that there are. Warning. Hostile forces approaching. Were they really in the car the whole time? Oh, I can't get it. Alright, let's go around. Okay, let's just finish him off with a pummel. Alright. Oh, I think that was a headshot. Take that, take that. Alright, no. Where is this other guy? Why? Are you hiding? I think this guy's hiding. Uh oh. Uh oh. I'm double? Alright, let's use a medkit there. Alright, let's just reload. Where's this other guy? Oh, they're coming in. Can I shoot the Oh, I can't shoot the guy here. Cool. Alright, you need to die. Where are these other guys? Alright. Alright, shoot them. Oh, come on. Alright, thank god. Got that out of the way. Nope. Alright. Who's the guy? Who's this other guy? And who's the guy? Alright. Target is secure. No more hostiles detected. There we go. Great that was a little bit more trouble. We'll get those drugs back to the wounded where they'll be used properly. Right. 
Alright, I got to level 2. Awesome. So, leveling up will make you stronger and give you access to new tools. Keep it up. Aw, the game is so encouraging. As you can see, doing these type of missions especially, it can be kind of hard when you're by yourself. So, I definitely recommend finding someone to play Agent. with. Finding a friend. We've gotten word of buddy. a hostage situation at a bank. Looks like you'll have to go through the subway tunnel to access the building. We need you to move in and minimize the damage. Alright, no problem. Let's do this. Alright. Let's interact. So we need to access the courtyard. Alright, so see, the game will give you all these little notifications on how to do certain things. So if you want to use a grenade, as the screen is telling us, you're going to go ahead and press left to equip the grenade. If you hold left, you can pick what you want. So you're going to hold, you're going to hold down that left button on the D-pad and use your right analog stick to just kind of scroll around and see what you want. So right now we really only have a frag grenade, so it lets us aim it once we press the d-pad. If you want to cancel that throw, just press circle, and then it will just take you out of that animation. Alright, so let's go rescue some hostages. Morning. Maybe we'll get to level up again. Alright, let's just send out a pulse. To the death. All right, this is kind of bad because I don't have a med kit. Let's see, it's not easy. Punch, punch. I mean, shoot, shoot, punch. All right, I don't actually recommend doing that. That's actually really dumb. But let's just take all our little goodies. You have a new item of clothing in your inventory. Press options. Open your inventory and go to the appearance tab to change your clothing. So let's just actually go ahead and do that. Press options. We're going to go to inventory and we're going to scroll all the way to appearance. So I think we just got a hat. So eh, let's put it on. A watch cap. Eh, nothing too extravagant. Let's see, we don't really have anything else. Do we have a scarf? No, we don't have any scarves. We have a parka jacket and simple walking shoes. All right, so now we got a hat. Now we look, we look at that. We look, we look cooler. Kind of look like Neo. Hmm. I'm sure you guys know who Neo is, right? The R&B singer. I used to love Neo back a lot during high school. Let's go ahead and save this hostage. Nice right. work shutting Sign that down, complete. agent. Finally. Oh, thank, thank you. you so much. That was terrifying. Now I need to get the hell out of here. Alright, so we can loot this crate. Yeah, the guy needs to get the hell out of here. Alright, so we need to go back and report our progress to Officer Hazen at the safe house. Agent, excellent So the game work. set a waypoint up for us. We're grateful for all the lives you saved. Why don't you come on back here? We got a little something for you. Well, I mean, if, if you say so. Let's let's go ahead and go back to that. All right, come on, jump down. I'm gonna take some damage here. If you jump down from too high of a height or too great a height, you will take a little bit of damage. The greater the fall, the more damage you're gonna take. So, but apparently you could recover that off. You get hit, if you get hit by a bullet, <laughs> you're not gonna heal any of that damage unless you're under a third of your health. If you're under a third of your health, you're gonna recover any health back up to when that last bar is pulled up. But you won't heal past that. But if you fall, as you just saw right now, I guess you heal some of that health back though. Alright, so we're about half an hour in. We're gonna... I wanna do that lot. I'm gonna do the mission on Brooklyn for you guys. And to make up for some of the little technical difficulties we've had thus far. But let's keep going. Oh my god, this is so annoying. 
I feel like the sprint was better in the beta. I don't know why. But alright, let's go report our progress back to Officer Hazen. Got there he is. That's calling your name. Fantastic work, Agent. I think you put the lid back on this all place right. just when it was about to boil over. We all thank you. And I wanted to say personally that I've lived in Brooklyn my whole life. So what you've done means a lot to me. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome, Officer Hazen. It, it means a lot for me to hear you say that. But hey, guys, you as you can see, I've leveled, uh, I've leveled up to level three. So hey, don't walk before away. we finish Agent, up here, we just got a distress call from one of the local police precincts we set up as a distribution hub. They're being attacked by rioters. Getting word they're planning on trading hostages for drugs. You need to get in there, eliminate the threat to the precinct, and free any hostages. All right. So we need to go... This is the one mission that we have in Brooklyn. So let's go take care of this. We already have a waypoint set. It's kind of far. But let's go. It should probably take us about another... Maybe 10 minutes at most. Let's go ahead and do this. I Me mean, personally... Eh, this beginning is a little boring, but again, it, it's a tutorial, and in my opinion, no. or in my experience, no, no, no. all tutorials are kind of boring. <laughs> I don't think there's ever been a tutorial that I've enjoyed. If anyone knows what I'm talking about, um, most Kingdom Hearts games have these really long tutorials, or just like beginning levels, and it's kind of annoying. And this isn't anywhere near that, but... Again, I'm not really a fan of tutorial levels or missions or whatever. Just put me in the damn game. Tell me what to do as you've been telling me and I'll figure it out. But to each his own or her own. To each their own. So what I want to do here is... Let's go ahead and do the matchmaking. So I'm going to go ahead and hold square. I tried this on the hard difficulty on my other on my main account. And it, it, it took a long time. Hard is no joke. I never tried during the beta. So we're going to go ahead and just click triangle okay so we're gonna wait maybe a minute it, it took a while to match me up match make me with people in the hard difficulty I don't know why maybe a lot of people weren't willing to try out the hard difficulty right from the beginning but let's see if wait do I need to press X Oh my god, I'm an idiot. I needed to press X. Alright. Let's do this. Come on. Give me some people to play with. Searching for agents. Come on. Come on, you can do it. Ubisoft servers. Just three people. Or not. Don't match make me with anybody. <laughs> That's perfectly fine too. No, not really. Please, game. Match make me. Alright, so on the bottom right, you can see instead of it finding people for me, it'll ask me if I want to join another team or whatever that I've been successfully match, match make with. So you just have to hold down the R3 button, which is just the right trigger. Just press, press down on it. And I don't know if you guys could tell, but it just took me up to this loading screen. So it's trying to load me into that. Um, Where is he? that instance I'm not sure <laughs> but I think you just heard someone else's voice there a gamer or something he was like where is he uh, I'm gonna see if I can disable that right now as soon as I load in I know you guys are gonna call me terrible for <laughs> muting essentially muting someone in matchmaking because that's probably the last thing anyone would do but again for the purpose of this video I wanted to show off the matchmaking but at the same time, I want you guys to enjoy the game audio. But <laughs> this loading screen is taking forever. Once it's done loading, I'm going to see if I can do it. Alright, so it's loading a little bit faster now. I'm not going to lie, these loading screens have been taking quite a while. Not a big fan of long loading screens. Like in Destiny. 
I guess this game is trying to copy Destiny, even right down to the voting screens. Alright, almost there. 90%, 91. Oh, straight to 100. Hostiles incoming. Okay, so the only match made me with one person. Which is fine. Looks like we've got Alright, right, so. Okay. He's moving on the roof. So there are people on the roof. Alright, this guy jumped on the car, so let's just kill him. Oh wow, that took a full clip to take him out. Alright, see, so you, you want to make sure you take out the guys with the little icons, grenade icons, right away. Brooklyn Dispatch, this is Division Command. We've got an agent incoming to assist at the 84th, but all entrances are blockaded. Division, that's the best news I've had all month. Try the parking garage in the back. Got that agent? That's your in. Go get him. Alright. Let's go ahead and go in. So this was significantly harder in hard mode. Trust me, this was these enemies and their their armor basically was insane. They're all purple barred enemies. And they are really hard to take down. Oh, that was terrible. Shoot! Oh my god, my little my trigger got stuck there. Get out of my way, JTF guy, man. I'm just getting me killed. So we will go ahead and use that med kit. Alright. Pop this guy. This guy's charging at me. So I'm not gonna get to swing that bad at me. Sorry, sir. Alright. See, look at that. It's all in the headshots. Let's try to get this guy hiding up here. Oh, oh shit, okay, he's dead. Let's move forward. Hostiles incoming. Oh shit. Alright, let's just chuck a little grenade in there. Alright, he's dead. Let's get this other guy. It's a lot easier when you're just in normal difficulty. Alright, so let's reach the parking garage. Alright, let's take out some more enemies. Let's send out a quick pulse. And this fool is on top of the car again. When did I find another health a med kit? I'm not sure. I know I used one, but I don't know when I found the second one. Alright. Oh, see? Alright, so. As you can see, your teammates can go down, but you can revive them. So you're gonna go up to them, and you're gonna hold square. Make sure you hold square. Alright, let's use a med kit right there, real quick. Alright. So this guy's having a little bit of trouble here. Alright, let's him out. And let's take out the last guy. Alright, so I see now there that I found a med kit. You wanna look around and see if there are any other med kits dropped. So here this guy dropped a scope. So I'll take a look at that scope later. So see on the back, on my backpack? 7 out of 31, that's how much inventory I have. I have 7 items in my inventory, I can only hold 31. When you find new bags, you can hold more items. So... It's kind of creepy here. Hostiles detected. Alright, so we got more hostiles. This is they could Let's just chuck a grenade in there. Take out. Oh, shit, oh wow, that was... Easy. <laughs> they didn't even notice the grenade. Alright, so we're gonna go here and release the hostage, which I think is a JTF guy. Get me out of yeah. here. Hey, thanks for looking out for us. Alright, two JTF guys. 
All right, so now they're gonna help you out. So we have to sweep the upper floors and take out the rest of these enemies. So let's do this. I don't have my pulse ready yet. But let's just go in there all Rambo style. Again, Rambo style works when you're playing on the normal difficulty for the most part. If you're playing on hard, don't don't even think about it. I had Alert. we had four Hostiles people. Detected. Oh, another dead JTF guy. We had four people on our team, and we were we we wiped like four times on this part. Did not go well. So let's send that. Let's send out another pulse. All right, let's surprise this guy. All right. Oh shit. Oh, see, I guess I guess they um make you stumble when they hit you with that bat. All right. So this guy. Another more guys coming. This guy's dead. And he's dead. Take a boost. Warning. Additional hostile and you're dead. See, it's it's not so hard. See, because you can go in there random style. And I think we have one guy left. All right, he is done. Go. All right, so we're good there. Alright, so now we need to go upstairs. But let's get this ammo over here. I think that's ammo. Yeah. And we want to open up this crate over here. Alright. Again, you want to hold square for most of these things. So canned food... So you... Those little consumable... Well, I don't think it's a consumable, but things like that, like canned food, what they'll come in useful for, when you see a civilian and they're hurt, you can give them something like an energy bar or canned food and it'll give you experience. So let's go neutralize this leader. Warning. Hostiles detected nearby. Alright, so we got a bunch of more hostiles up here. Alright, so let's take them out. Oh, I didn't use the pulse, so let's use that now. Alright, see very He's hiding. So let's take this guy. Right, he's dead. Oh, I think that was a headshot. See, he wants to throw a grenade. Oh, no, no, no. Alert. Additional hostiles. We have more hostiles. So let's go ahead and reload. Let's switch back and reload that gun. Can't shoot him, he's in the cover. Alright, so that's the big guy. Alright, so let's take him out. Yeah. Oh my god, that was terrible. Alright, so he's charging at us. Let's take him out. Let's take him out. And see that grenade right there? Let's jump out of the way. Uh oh, our guy's down. Alright, using my kit. A lot of the way. Oh crap. Even with the medkit, I took a lot of damage. See, this guy died in a bad spot there. Alright, so we got a few more hostiles. I'm gonna try to take out those hostiles. Let's sneak by here. Alright, we got him. Alright, we got Okay, we took out all the small enemies. So now we just gotta focus on this big guy here. Alright, we found a med kit, so let's actually go ahead and use that. Oh, we got more little enemies. We can shoot from behind cover, this is blind fire right now. So, take out some more of his health, take out the red guy. Reload again. Switch to our pistol, a little more precise, and, and we got another med kit over here we can grab. Yeah, let's just take all this loot. All right, let's climb down. Let's climb down this building. Basically done with that mission now. All right, so let's release the rope and climb on down. Alright, this should be completed. Brooklyn is stable again. Siege. Manhattan. Manhattan is another story. 
Let's get over there and see for ourselves. I've got more agents with me now. We'll rendezvous with Agent Lau and fly over together. Commander Chang out. See, right there in the top left corner, it says tutorial. So, the DPS statistic shows the damage per second dealt by the weapon. Selecting a weapon in the inventory opens a detailed view with stats and handling properties. And to compare a weapon with another one, um, to compare a weapon to your equipped weapon, I should say, go to your inventory, select a different weapon, and press triangle. So, just go ahead and press X to indicate that you got it. And we're gonna go ahead, open this door. So as you can see here, Manhattan transfer. So we are going to Manhattan. So let's just go ahead and run up over here. 